Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you how to draw the different biological or organic molecules in the IB syllabus. Since this video is focused on drawing, I won't be explaining the uses or the reasons for the structures of the molecules that should be explained in an upcoming video at some point. So there are four main different types of biological molecules that we need to know. Firstly, there are proteins, which as we know are made up of amino acids. So to draw this, we first have to draw the amine group, which is NH2. This amine group is connected to a carbon, which has a hydrogen attached to it and also has an R group attached to it. So this R group is basically just representing different compounds or elements that can be sub subbed in and attached to this carbon to create a variety of different amino acids. So there's actually 20 R groups, meaning that there are 20 possible amino acids available. And this is actually how multiple proteins are created because multiple different types of proteins are created because there's so many different combinations of amino acids um, that can be linked to each other due to these R groups. So then after this, there is a carboxyl group attached as well. So a top tip is that the IB likes to change the orientation of the molecule of the amino acid or re represent it in a different way just to confuse us in the exam. So for example, this would also be an amino acid. This would be the carboxyl group. Um, the NH2 would be the amine group. And then the R group would just be one of these hydrogens. So it's important to look for these three, these two main indicators, as well as an R group indicator to determine whether a molecule that they show you is an amino acid or not. So within carbohydrates, there are two main simple monomers that we are supposed to know how to draw. Firstly, there is alpha D-glucose. So as we know, glucose is a hexose sugar, meaning that it has six carbons and a hexagonal shape. So we can start off by just drawing that. From this, we have to label the different carbons. We know that the point where the lines meet is a different carbon. And you always start with number one as the rightmost carbon here. Two, three, four, five. Then we know that there's a side chain attached here, which is CH2OH. And this is actually the sixth carbon. So then this is not a carbon. I made a mistake here. This is an oxygen. Then to each of these carbons, carbons is attached an OH2 group or a water group, a H2O water group. So we can draw that here. So some exam technique is to make sure that this um, line is always attached to the O and not the H because it's not actually possible for hydrogen to be bonding to a carbon and an oxygen at the same time because if you remember, it only has um, one free electron space to bond with since the maximum numbers of, number of electrons in its outer shell is actually just two. So it can only bond with one other element. It's also important to note that in alpha D-glucose, um, the pattern is OH on the bottom, top, bottom, bottom, because this is different or the key difference between alpha and beta D-glucose. So that brings us to the second um, simple monomer, carbohydrate monomer that we have to be able to draw, which is beta D-glucose. 
So the structure of beta D-glucose is exactly the same as alpha glucose, except the position of these OH um, groups. So just draw it exactly the same. Remembering to label the carbons because this is going to be important later for identifying which carbons are bonded to each other um, when looking at polymerization reactions. So in beta D glucose, the pattern is on OH on the bottom, OH on the top, OH on the bottom, and then OH on the top. So it's basically alternating in beta D glucose, whereas in alpha D glucose, it's always on the bottom except for carbon three. So the third orga organic molecule that we need to know how to draw is nucleic acids, specifically ribose and deoxyribose. So ribose is a pentose because it has five carbons. And the way that you draw it is having an oxygen at the top, which is attached to this pentagon shape. Again, remember to label the carbons, one, two, three, four, and five five, starting with um, this rightmost um, carbon. Also remember to um, show this linkage going to the carbon and not the hydrogen or the oxygen because it's actually not possible for the oxygen or hydrogen to form another bond because of the limited space they have in their valence shell, which is already being taken up by other bonded electrons. In ribose, the arrangement of the hydroxide and hydrogen groups are as follows, with both hydroxides um, being at the bottom in the middle in carbon 2 and 3, with the hydroxide on carbon 1 being at the top. So the second nucleic acid that we need to be able to draw is deoxyribose. And as the name suggests, this is deoxy, meaning without an oxygen molecule. Uh, without an oxygen molecule specifically in this OH group, meaning that it's actually just two hydrogens bonded to the carbon. So again, we can just draw the exact same structure as ribose. Almost made a mistake there. Remember, it's bonded to the carbon. And at carbon two, we only have two hydrogens. There is no oxygen because it's deoxyribose. So yeah, just to recap, it's a pentose, five carbons, which means it's a pentagon shape. Key difference is the lack of a oxygen on carbon two. So for lipids, we have to know how to draw fatty acids. There's two different ways that we have to know how to draw them. Firstly, there is just a simple way in which um, we just use lines like this. So this would be a saturated fatty acid. To draw um, a carbon double bond, um, we simply just do a double line like this. Since there's only one double bond, this is known as, as a monounsaturated fatty acid. And so, logically, if we draw multiple of these double bonds, then this can be known as a polyunsaturated fatty acid. So this is the more simple way to draw it. Um, this is called, actually, a skeletal um, sketch. If you do chemistry, you may know that. Um, each one of these bends basically just represents the position of a carbon. So the second way that we know how that we have to know how to draw fatty acids is the expanded form. So firstly, we have the methyl group, which is CH3. Then there's the hydro hydrocarbon chain which can be n, carbon lo n carbons long. So basically, this length varies from fatty acid to fatty acid, 
And this is why in the general formula for fatty acid, it's actually um, CH2N. The hydrocarbon chain is actually CH2N, where N is any integer, which shows how the length of that hydrocarbon chain can vary. This CH3 is the methyl group, and the third group is the, a carboxyl group. So this hydrocarbon chain is then attached to um, a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and, a car and the carbon also double bonded to a hydroxyl group. Sorry, let me just label the hydrocarbon chain. So yeah, those are the drawings that you need to know for topic two. I know that there's lots of details to remember, but just practice a lot and you'll get the hang of it. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this video helped. Bye.